Hello and welcome to another diagnostics video from Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. This troubleshooting guide shows you how to test the camshaft position sensor when you have P0340 fault code for camshaft position sensor. If you have this fault, you won't be able to start the engine, and on some cars, engine will start will a long delay. So, I will show you how to test the camshaft sensor wiring, and how to test the sensor itself. Please stay with us until the end of the video and subscribe the channel for more videos. As you see here, I have a Nissan, and I am not able to start the engine even after a couple of times starting. So I check the engine fault codes with a scan tool first to see what is going on. So, I connect the scan tool and check the engine fault codes. And this is current fault code on this engine which is P0340 camshaft position sensor circuit bank 1. To start the diagnosis, at first we will have a look at the camshaft sensor wiring diagram. Then I show you how to test the power supply on the sensor. Next step would be the sensor ground circuit test. Then we will check the signal circuit. And finally we remove and test the camshaft position sensor. Let's start by wiring diagram analysis. Camshaft sensor on this car is a Hall IC type which has three wires. Orange wire on pin number one is the power supply. Brown wire on pin number two is the sensor ground. and green wire on pin number 3 is the sensor signal. Let's see how we can test the power supply on the sensor. Use a multimeter and check the voltage on pin number 1 with orange wire when ignition switch is on. Test the voltage as shown here, and ensure that your measurement is about 5 volt. If measurement is ok, go to the next step, otherwise you have to check the power supply line between the sensor and ECM. Remember that the pin numbers are shown from the back of the connector. And always refer to the workshop manual if wires or your car model are different. Next step is to check the sensor ground circuit. Using a multimeter check the continuity on the ground circuit between the sensor wiring harness and ECM wiring harness. Ensure that continuity is existed. Here you see the relevant pinouts on ECM F11 connector and CAM sensor connector. Please note that pinouts are shown from the back of the connectors and they are for Nissan Taita 2009 model. So if your car model is different, you need to find and check the relevant wiring diagram for accurate measurement otherwise you cannot rely on the incorrect measurement. You can also check the wire colors which is explained early in this video.
If ground circuit is OK, we go for testing the signal circuit. For doing this, you need to test the continuity between the cam sensor and ECM harness connector as shown here. You must ensure that the continuity is existed. You also see the signal pins on the ECM and sensor harness here. As I said before, these details are for Nissan Tita and Versa 2009 and are not applicable on other cars and other models. After testing the continuity, it's good to test the short to ground on the signal circuit as well to ensure the wire is not shorted to ground. Let's see how we can test the cam sensor itself. Remove the camshaft position sensor and check it visually. Make sure that sensor looks good and it does not have any sign of crack or damages. Then you can test the sensor using a multimeter. Workshop manual says, we can test the sensor by checking the resistance between each two pins. And your measurement must be anything except zero or infinite. This test, in fact, is checking the internal open or short circuit in the sensor. You can see my measurement on any two pins when sensor works properly. If your measurement is out of workshop manual specification, you have to replace the sensor. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it was helpful. Please make sure to check the workshop manual every time before doing anything. It helps you to do the job safely and properly.